Hello, Libra. Let's get into it. Let's pull you a reading. Okay. Uh, I see you that you're winning, and um, you got some sore losers here. And um, I heard this song like three times today. I think it's Juicy by uh, Biggie Smalls. And I'm far from cheap. I smoke on my peeps all day. Spread love. That's a Brooklyn way. Yeah, you got some sore losers here. Called the police on me when I was just trying to make some money to feed my dog. It was just a matter of time for these people, you know. It, listen, if this is you, I'm not ready to take this yet, but I will acknowledge it. Um, you know, this is somebody, it was a matter of time for you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, you know what I mean, and overcome some shit, you know. This is an overcomer. It's uh, right now. It's sudden action. I gotta, I gotta go now, you know. I gotta strike while the iron's hot. That's what that is. I gotta strike while the iron's hot. I'm far from cheap. Yeah, this cycle of your life. But you're pulling six of cups. It could have something to do with the retrograde, honestly, because it's a brand new cycle. But you're looking back on the past. You know, there's a lot of memories, fond memories. But you know that, like, where you're going, everybody can't go. You know what I mean? And you're starting to understand that uh, no weapon formed. You know that everything happens for a reason and even the bad things helped you along the way yeah these people holding on to you you know this is somebody uh in your recent past this is somebody who just doesn't have a lot of money at all and it's squalor you know it's holding on to very little money you know, this is the life. This is the legacy. This is how I was brought up. I was brought up with not a lot. You, you didn't have a lot coming up, that's for sure. Not a lot coming up at all. Hmm, four of Pentacles. You know, you're cleaving to the little bit of shit you do have. Oh, there's a Miranda Lambert song. I saw the video. I didn't hear the song. I saw the video. Back when we had MTV, there was a Miranda Lambert song, but I see her like walking back. She's it's she's at uh, you know anyway. Yeah, back when he was a kid, back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But sometimes I don't know what that song is. Sometimes I sit and wish I was a kid again. Okay, wow, I don't know. Holding on to very little, very little money, and talking about here's your one chance, fancy don't have. Come on. Here's your one chance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, some of you had a mother here that wasn't uh, very motherly. Let's say that. Queen of Cups reverse. It's definitely mama. But mama, you know. Mm, mm -mm. Not, I mean, I don't like to talk about people's mamas. I don't. But uh, perverse mother. Dishonest mother. You know, not not a good mama. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Not not a not a good mama. Mm -mm. Perverse. Perverse mother. Dishonest. Lies. Cheats. Steals. You know, I'm just not uh, hanging on to the um. All right, and my whole crew is lounging. Something, something every day. No more public housing. I, this is relative to you, Libra. Now my mom pimps a. Now my mom pimps a act with minks on her back. Yeah, you know, you're really hanging on to some type of, or this is a mother that's uh, a mother that's now hanging on to you. You know, there's a mother here, a mother figure hanging on to you. Um, this mother figure, if it's not your mom, I, I'm I'm inclined to feel that way. If it isn't. 
this is some other relative of yours that, mm, you know, perverse, dishonest, it's definitely a woman. Now this woman is, um, because of, I don't know, but she's very, she's talking about this great big huge offer of love. It's, it, you know, all of a sudden, you know, she's talking about when you were a kid, when you were young, how much love you were given. I don't think you remember it that way. I don't, I don't think you remember it the way that this person is. Um, you know, yeah. Damn, Libra. Um, there was a lot of suffering, you know, a lot. A lot. This is someone who just did not grow up in a good environment at all. There was a... You're seeing reality very fucking clearly as well. Um, this person that's offering you... Now this person has all... Now this person has so much to say and they're offering you so much love. But you're remembering Three of Swords... And you're, you know, this is a test on you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. It's hard on you. It is. But you're seeing reality very clearly. Uh, I think this is someone who's seeing the power of prestige. I don't even talk like that. Um, but, uh, There's a perverse person here, dishonest, not, you know, the feelings aren't legitimate. Yeah. Uh, you two don't see eye to eye at whatsoever fucking ever. You don't. The hanged man. Uh, there's a lot of conflicting opinions here. Uh, you two don't see eye to eye. Uh, I do feel like it's family. You don't see eye to eye. You, uh, you see things one way. And this person sees things another, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This person is taking small actions, you know? They are trying to offer love to you. A very huge, grandiose gesture of love. I think this person... Could be stopping by your house. They're calling more. They're talking more. And it's all love. It's all love, you know. But it, it, there's also multiple siblings here. I have a couple of siblings. You know, I see at least two siblings around you. I see a lot of love around you. I do. I mean, I see people going out of the way for you. I see people, you know, can I help you with this? Can I get you that? And I'm far from cheap. I smoke for my peeps all day. Spread love. Spread love. Well, um, you know, I. Whatever this conversation is, this person has the right intentions. They're trying to show you love. They're going, they're, whatever they're doing, it's some type of small action towards you. Uh, you don't see reality the way this person does. You guys don't see eye to eye at all. Like, I don't even, like, I, I don't want to look at it. Um, you know, there's a lot of heartbreaking moments. Um, I do see... You know, page of wands, five of wands. I saw in the pre-shuffle where you were winning and we had some butt-hurt losers. I, I, that's what I see. I see crabs in a barrel when, you know, you're you're speaking your truth about the suffering, you know. Um, it is going to dis cause a lot of disruption. And if this is siblings, these siblings are going to want to fight you over what you're saying about somebody's mama. Straight up. I don't know what else to say about that. Nor do I know what the hell we're talking about. But 
to my somebody don't like you talking about their mama, and it feels like brothers and sisters. They, uh, you know, I did all I could for you. You're not remembering it correctly. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're remembering all the fighting and the toxicity. You're remembering all the violence in the home. You're remembering all the drugs, the alcohol, the codependencies. You're remembering all the violence in the home. Devil with the nine of wands. Yeah. You're standing your ground, too. I think somebody here could get blocked. It's like, I ain't got time for this shit. Yep. Yep, somebody's getting blocked. They're too fucking toxic. And um, you do speak your truth, too. If somebody speaks some truth that upsets some family members, for sure. Here we go. This was real heavy in the pre-shuffle. The past. In the recent past, the past is, you know, you're talking. In the recent past, I have somebody here talking about the past. Uh-huh. In the relationships that we had, this feels like family. You know, this is the soulmates that we have. You know what I mean? That we're joined to. Uh, we're talking about family here. Mm -hmm. How you remember things about what went on in the family. Yeah. How fucking sneaky and lying someone was. They were just uh, very cunning. Big old plan. It was, you know, a little sneaky fucking cunning plan. Yeah, you're remembering it, too. You're remembering things quite clearly. You know. This past person, this little past soulmate that you have, um, soulmates can be friends, family, colleagues, uh, definitely, when I said family, I mean, like, family members, your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, the uh, sister-in-law, husband-in-law. In the past, you know, there was uh, small amounts of money given to someone mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for a long time. Yeah. So, in the recent past, I see where someone has given someone small amounts of money. Like, I don't know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks. This wasn't a lot. Um... But it was an investment because it was a soulmate. You know what I mean? This is what you do for your kids. This is what you do for your, you know, your family. You know what I mean? This is, you know, you've invested in family. You've invested in these relationships. This is what family does for each other. I have a funny feeling, 77. I, I got a funny feeling this person feels like they're, you know. So, this person's plan, because I think you've leveled up quite a bit, and I feel like someone here feels like they're owed something, because now you're some type of king, you're established, you got a little bit of something, uh, you're flashy, you're flashy, you're sitting at the king's table, you're eating rather well, you eat well. You know, and someone here from the past is like, don't forget about the person who raised you. Don't forget about all the money I invested in you, you know. Um, but what you're remembering is the fucking sneakiness and all the nastiness that went on. You're not really thinking about the fucking meager days of when we were small and had really, you didn't have shit. You're not dressed very well at all. You know, you, you didn't have much. You didn't. You didn't. Um, I think that for whatever it's worth, you're with a new soulmate here. You got quite the investment, quite the castle. I see the castle in the background. Uh -huh. And these past people are spying on you. They're spying on the money that you're spending as well. Um, they're also little white lies. You know, little white lies that they told you when you were coming up. This person lied to you a lot. Um, that was real. It, it, this person lied to you about money a lot. You know, they lied a lot. Little white lies that was told. Yeah, but see, um, what was that song? You know very well who you are. Don't let them hold you down. Reach for the stars. Yeah, you're some type of star. Um, the heaven ha the heavens have a lot of faith in you. You're pulling the star. The heavens 
has invested a lot in you. Uh, I do. I see the blessing pouring down from the heavens. I see it. You know? Um, the heavens has a good bit of investment with you. You know, a little star seed. But you don't come from a good background. You don't. Uh, I see people here from your past that are plotting and scheming on your new success. Because you're a flashy person, heterosexual male, uh, at the king's table, you have a good taste in women, good taste in liquor, and a good taste in food. Um, I think that uh, you do come seven to the eight. Uh, you're winning, you know. Um, it was definitely a spirit. This is somebody who's spiritual, you know. I mean, I, I, I'm a reader. Seven of swords, eight of swords, even if I add it. So 15, one plus five is six of swords. This is somebody who's going to avoid the conflict, but there was a lot of sneakiness around you. Uh, you really felt bound to these relationships. You were quite the star. Um, but these people here, you know, you two don't see eye to eye. There's very different perceptions of the past reality. Um, you know, these people, it's almost like a gaslighting. They're going to challenge your perception of reality. And that's what I see. They're challenging, especially with the Seven of Swords on the Eight. So they're going to challenge your perception of reality because you were a kid back then. You get what I'm saying? But you're seeing it. I saw the Ace of Swords. Mm -mm. You're seeing it correctly. Um, I also, and I'm far from cheap. It's been blunts with my peeps all day. What was when I was just trying to make some money to feed my daughter. Yeah. Um, I, I do think that this is someone who went to jail as well. I mean, I see the jail. And I see that uh, you were doing some undesirable things. Uh, very sneaky. Maybe stealing, robbing. I don't know. But what you were doing was illegal. Um, it did put you at the king of uh, pentacles status where you were eating quite well and I see where someone perhaps went to jail. Now, um, if that isn't the case, which I think it is, um, I feel like uh, you feel like you're, this is a hopeless situation. You're bound to these folks. Um, I, a lot of people, you had the four of pentacles, which is uh, hanging on to legacies. You got a lot of people riding your coattails is what I see, honestly because they're family and you feel bound to these people. Mm -hmm. And I'm far from cheap. Smoke blunts with my peeps all day. Spread love. Let the girls go away. I saw you spreading love. Ace of, uh, page of cups, ace of cups. You were. I mean, despite, you know what I mean? I saw the perverse mother and I, you know, Forgive me now, I'm not talking about your mama. But I see where we did not have a good upbringing. In particular with a mama. And there was no daddy in the picture. I still don't see one. I still don't see a daddy anywhere. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like you've accepted the accepted it, you know, you know what it is, yeah, you recovered with the star, I accepted the past for what it was long ago, I've recovered, I don't live there anymore, someone don't live there anymore, they, um, their treasures are stored in heaven, somebody's treasures are, you know, you got the key to the streets, you've recovered from this, you don't live there anymore. You know, you did. You, uh, you've invested elsewhere. You've accepted, uh, you've accepted the past for what it is. You, you don't live there anymore. Um, I do see where, um, 
there was a, you got, you got one hell of a spirit guardian. There's a guardian guide person over you and, you know, spirit over you. And this person has invested, not this person, this spirit has invested a lot in you, a lot. Um, it could be more than one, maybe two, three, four, I don't know, but five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, these people have, whatever spiritual guidance you have, they've invested quite a bit in you and they've helped you recover. You're remembering things accurately, by the way, so don't let nobody gaslight you. You know, you took, you were a product of your environment. You, know, you were the creation. You were a creation of your environment. Uh, whatever this was, um, you know, I think I touched on this when I first started. Whatever hard lessons that you went through in the past really gave you all this creativity um, because you really had to grab yourself by the bootstraps to overcome the challenges that you had in your life. Uh, you didn't do this alone um, at all. You had a lot of spiritual help here, uh, a good bit. They helped you recover. They used, you know, it's no weapon form, meaning they didn't, God didn't say weapons weren't going to be formed. Weapons were definitely there. Uh, they just did not prosper. In fact, they helped you forward. They pushed you forward. You used all of this as ammo to create. You were a very creative individual, extremely. I knew that song was going to be rel relative because I heard it three times in one day. And I was like, and I was damn to it too. And I was like, that's right. Oh, I can cheat. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Peeps all day. Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah. And you sitting at the king's table. Shit is definitely fair now. Mm -hmm. Put a little extra butter on mine, please. There's somebody getting the, uh, what is that called? I don't know. Mushroom? Mushroom butter? What the fuck is mushroom butter? Is that a thing? Mushroom butter? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alright. I see your spirit guides here. Okay. Spirits in the building, baby. 66. Recent past, or I don't know if we're talking about recent past, we're just going to talk about right now. I see us taking a risk to make things right. Let's take a risk to make things right. Right? You feel like I owe you something? Let's take a risk to make things right. Keep things fair. Uh, you're very attractive, Libra. You're a mover and a shaker. You can do all things. Good looking man. King of Wands is the looker in, my, in the tarot uh, as far as masculine energy. Uh, you're a looker, get a lot of attention, and you're the king of pence, uh, you know, good looking dude. But, um, and I said this about heterosexual, you know, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm holding a mighty big wand <laughs> in your hand. That's what I'm going to say about that. Um, very passionate fellow high sex drive, you know. Um, I feel like your spirit team don't like this risk that you're about to take. It's six of swords reverse. That's my spirit team card guiding you away, but it's coming up reverse, which means you're not listening, which means you're not listening. I 
and I see you not listening. I see you going, la 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 la. This is you. Hear no evil. See no evil. Speak no evil. That's you. You're just going to go along with it. You're going along with the flow. You're going with it. And you're doing risky things against your spirit team who's already moved you away from this. It's in the reverse, meaning you're going backwards. Uh, these risks have put you most likely in jail before. Uh, if not, they've put you in very uncomfortable situations before. They've put you in very, these risks you've taken, they've put you in hopeless situations before. Spirit team waiting on you. They're waiting on you. It's something about the timing. Your spirit team, did I mention retrograde? Um, because it's it's coming back. Is this karma? I, immediately when I saw that car, card, I thought karma. Because I was like dividing property. Gotta be fair. I'm gonna take a risk to be fair. Is this karma? I'm gonna take a risk to correct this karma. It's bothering me. It's on my mind too much. It is. I'm going back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna be I'm gonna confront this. It was a matter of time and it's time to confront it. Damn. It's the same two cards that were there in the last one. These people spying on your the little the little white lies um, that were in the in these connections uh, family you know let's break bread in the family let's take some risks little white lies it's like we're spying on the family we're keeping tabs on the family. <sighs> Chariot reverse. Someone here comes from a very checkered background where the family, I'm sorry, but the family was shitheads. The family are cockroaches. I, I, I don't like to talk about people's family, but you know what they are and so do I. All these bad memories you have of uh, the family that never left. The family that you're going back to, somebody's going back to the ghetto. You are, straight up. You're going back to the ghetto where motherfuckers spy on other motherfuckers. They hate on them, chariot reverse. You know what I'm saying? Because how dare you leave? You know what I mean? How dare you fucking leave? Where all the bad memories and all the bad shit pops off. Yeah, high priestess. These people don't have, uh, they don't have guides, guardians, archangels. They don't have any of, they don't have spiritual protection. They don't have spiritual insight. They're not fucking sober enough to get any spiritual insight. Mm -mm. Yeah, these people are reckless. Nine of Wands reverse. They're they're reckless. You know what I mean? People die every day over dumb shit they do. They, there's no well thought out plans. Um, there is no intuition at all. Uh, a lot of bad shit pops off here. Mm -hmm. And the police are there. These police that monitor this area are tyrants. They, this is the type of area where you could get shot very easily by the police. Shit ain't fair over here. No. And there's a lot of not working, you know. There's a lot, this is a quicksand. This is quicksand environment that you want to return to. Because you feel like you got to make something right with somebody. I just want to let you know that this is against your guide's better judgment. And you know it and I know it.
but whatever it is has bothered you, you can't stop thinking about it. And I feel like this is someone who does everything in their power to get the thoughts out of their mind, but they can't, and that's why they're going back. They're going to take this risk. You know, you want to go visit somebody from the past. Uh, you know, I don't think you're going to like what you find there. No, you know. Uh, nothing has changed there. It's Knight of Pentacles reverse. Um, it's stagnant water. It's mosquito water. Nothing has changed. You want to go back there. You want to offer some love. I think that's in that song too. brought love to the hood. All you did was take away. Uh, you feel like you owe love. It's like you want to you want to visit the past because it's on your mind and you want to offer some love and I feel like you're going in with a bulletproof vest as well. You are dressed head to toe in armor. But uh, do you see how well dressed you are compared to the place you're going? Like, look at your look at your car. Look at your horse, right? Like, look at you. Okay. This is what you're going into into the reverse. These people have fucking nothing, and it's uh, your spirit team is highly advising against this. Six of Swords is my spirit card. It's pulling in the reverse, meaning. They really don't want you to go back there. You know what I mean? Um, it's like they're waiting. I, I hate to say this. I, if you go there, you're, your spirit team ain't going with you. They're not. Your spirit team is not going to go with you here. You will be there on your own. I, I think that they, you know, I, I hate to say that, baby, but look, this is where the buck stops. They're going to wait on you. Have good luck. They're not going with you. They're not. Unfortunately, these people, they can't go where you're going either. Now, you're going to have to make a fucking decision, and I see you going back. You're not traveling forward, and I see you in the reverse. You're not, and your spirit team is not living there anymore, and I see that you're all up in your head about going back, and I see the direction you're going. It's backwards. Your spirit team's like, listen, I'm gonna wait right here. Uh, we don't, we're, we're not going over there. Now, I don't know why they're not going there with you, but they're physically not going with you to here. Now, I don't know why, but there's spiritual reasons for things. Now, I don't know if it's like crypts and bloods, like we don't got jurisdiction there. I don't know. That's how it feels, honestly. Like they ain't got jurisdiction there. Get what I'm saying? Like God Himself with that star card, God pulled you out. Then your spirit team could, you know, but they can't go backwards, babe. They can't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Um, I just got that Simba where uh, Simba and his dad are looking over the bridge. Yeah. And he's telling his son about the dark place. We, we don't go there. Yeah, it's the Simba and his daddy where they go to the ridge. And he's telling his son, you see all this? This is yours. But you see that dark place? We don't go there. And for whatever reason, your spirit team's not going there. They, they're not. Baby, you're going back by yourself. Um, I'm going to tell you something. You look like a fucking uh, elephant in a room. Red elephant in a room with all the red. You don't fit in anymore. You don't. Look at your clothes, how nice you're dressed. Look. Look 
how nice you're dressed. You really think that you're going to fit in with these motherfuckers. Like, even if it was upright, you think you fit in there. It's even in the reverse. It's stagnant piss water. It's mosquito water. You don't fucking... You... King of Swords reverse. I mean, this is uh, quicksand and even the police, even the people that are supposed to be there to protect this area are tyrants. A lot of bad shit happens there. There's no protection there. Even the good guys that are there to protect you aren't good. There is no such thing as a good guy back there. Um, I hate to say this. You're going backwards right into conflict, and you're going into the same conflict that your spirit team pulled you out of. They cannot go there with you. Uh, furthermore, your spirit team feels like all they've invested in you, they have worked their fucking ass off for you. They worked really fucking hard for you, bro. Or girl, I don't know who I'm talking to, but they worked really fucking hard for you. So hard. 88. They work so fucking hard for you. And now they got to just stand here. I don't think they can go with you. Honestly, they can't. And I see it here with the dark. They, they're not, they can't go there. They are not, I don't know if they're not allowed, but they can. And um, I'm sorry, the very first thing I thought of when, very first thing I thought of was, you just expect us to just keep cleaning up your fucking mess. There's a spirit team here that is like all the all the work we've done. You just gonna do this. You just going backwards, and and we're just gonna clean up the fucking mess after you. And we're just supposed to wait here for you till you finally fuck come back. I I don't know what to say, but I feel it, and my heart is so heavy, and I feel the lump in my throat. I do. I feel a lump in my throat. Your perception, you're going there to do something physically. Your perception is not going to change. No matter what you do here, the perception's not going to change. You're still going to look at these people and for whatever reason, you're still... Attached. Playing like both sides of the, like indecisive about what direction to take. And it's almost like you're giving an olive branch and trying to give an olive branch. But see, people, these people, they don't see things the way you do and they never will. They don't, hon. See, these people are trapped there. But they move like children. They you they're trapped. They're not trapped there. They want to be there. They're there's nothing that you're gonna be able to do that are, that is gonna sway these people's opinions. 
This is where they want to be. Um, I see that you're very stuck right now and you're doing a very small action and um, you're not for sure how it's going to work out. I see it's a big fucking red flag. See all the red flag? Um, I feel like this is your last warning, Reaper. These people are ass backwards. I'm being told these people are ass backwards. Like, he's eating and drinking upside down. They're fucking ass backwards. These are pathological liars as well. I don't know where I got that from, but it's like you could ask these people what color the sky is and they're going to tell you the sky is purple. You know, they just... In this style, in this style, 1016, these people just want to be in style. See, you're a person of means. You see past like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and fancy belt buckles and shit. These people don't care about them. They just want to look good for the out. These are 3D people. These are matrix people. Honey, they don't see things the way you do, and they never will. Taking these little small actions, not for sure what to do, but you're still holding on to these fuckers. And I gotta tell you something. You're holding on to somebody who's going fucking nowhere. You're never gonna convince these people. There's nothing that... See, these people have dug in. They've dug in. These are fighters. They're violent. They don't want to change. They don't want it. They're violent. And they have these boundaries. They have these huge walls put up. Okay? They, they're violent. You're going into an area of violence. Where things don't go anybody's way. See, these people suffer. It's like uh, guns, people with guns killing other people with guns. You know. Manipulation at its finest. It's the magician reverse. This is why your spirit team can't go there. It's so much hell and black. Now, I don't, I'm a white woman. I don't want anybody to take that the wrong way. All I'm saying is it's dark. It, you, this is dark. It's a magician reverse. It's heavy, heavy, heavy manipulation. It's heavy violence. These people refuse to change. And if you think you're going in there with a page a page of wands to give people a decision, like, well, what are you going to do? What do you mean? They're going to be, they're going to act childish. These people are going to continue to act childish. And they're going to want you to get involved. Page to the two. Page of wands, two of wands. It's three of wands. These people are just going to drag you down with them. I mean, this is the belly of the beast that you're going into. And for whatever reason, I feel like um, your spirit team, it's not that they don't want to go there with you. They're not allowed. They can't go with you. They're not. They can't. And then I, with it, there's also a level of frustration, anger, and hurt there. Like, you just keep expecting us to clean up your shit. All the work we've done with you. My stomach hurts. Empress. All the betrayal these people have put you through. The Empress has a lot of great betrayal to become the Empress. And you're still hung up. You really think these people are going to see eye to eye with you at an Empress status when you roll in there with all this fucking royalty?
do you even remember things correctly? Do you remember how bad it was? Because they tell, they're telling me you do. People can't be saved. You're going into a straight conflict. Crabs in a barrel. They're going to drag you down. They're very jealous. They're going to pick on you. It's a straight conflict. You're going right into the belly of the beast where people go to jail every fucking day. Nothing has changed. These people are stagnant piss water. They're still sitting down. There's a lot of mental health issues there. You think you're going to get your healing there. I didn't even see that card. You think that you're going to go and you're going to get your healing there. You're going to heal something that you're trying to make something right where you, where somebody stole something from you. It's one hell of a risk. It's like you're going to go in and try to, you're really thinking hard. Like, what can I do to make, to heal this, this sneaky it's a plan. It's a very risky plan. There's a plan. There's a lot of risk to this plan. Um, I think you're beating yourself up. I do. It's mental conflict, and you're really beating yourself up. I see you trying to heal so. You're really trying to heal. And it's like, if I could just go back and fix it. 